Hi everybody, I'm doing an unboxing of, I picked up a first aid kit because I noticed over the holidays and then beginning of January, uh, January 1st when Jeff sliced his finger, finding all of the first aid stuff was in various different bathrooms. So getting one where it's already completed, plus I can add stuff to it, which I picked this up as well. Stereo strips for closures for when we think that we could need stitches or might not, you know, when you're unsure if it's quite uh, enough to go to the hospital to get stitches. Most times they do this anyways. It saves you some time. So this is a complete kit. It was, I think, $29. And it had a lot of pieces, so I'm going to show you what's in here. It has a separate mini kit in there, as well as different compartments. And that's why I liked it. It was a nice hard plastic kit. So... There's a little mini kit that you can, it's a keychain, that you can add to your keychain or your wallet, your bag. Just gonna put this down here. You need two, two hands to unzip. And here's Princess going, oh look, there's a box. What are you doing? But there's wipes, alcohol wipes, pads, bandages. Much better than the dollar store ones. There's a little sewing kit and some Q-tips and what's this? There's alcohol towels and antiseptic towels and sting relief and gauze. Little uh, sterilized glass. So that's really, really good. Then this is a glass breaking hammer. There's a little plastic case so you don't accidentally break stuff in here. But it also has an X Acto knife to break open bags. And I don't know what else you would use this for other than like a actual weapon. <laughs> you don't really want that for a first aid kit, but. This is good to put, like, if you have a car or something that you would use. Um, there is a carabiner. Not very thick, but good enough for maybe you put you could put it on here to put on your bag for traveling. There's a first aid guide. An emergency blanket. Emergency poncho. <clears throat> mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation device. So this is really good for if you're unsure <coughs> of who you're with. Like, you wouldn't necessarily use this with family because they're family, but with strangers. A compass, which we don't have. So that's good. A little mini sewing kit. A whistle. Some gauze. Blood lancet. Sterilized stainless steel. It's disposable. There's three of them. Packages of Q-tips with the wood sticks, so they're really sturdy. Some medical tape. Some scissors. Safety pins. And more safety pins. I mean, that's how they get the 250 in there, but these are actually decent sized safety pins, so... There's that. Um, this is a bit of wrap plastic. I don't know. Look. Now this is nice. These uh, tweezers to get stuff out and tongue disc depressors. And then there is four by four sponge gauzes. Instant cold compress, so you squeeze it and it's instantly an ice pack. So that's really for more an emergency when we are not home because we always have ice packs in the freezer. Oh, these are nice bandages. Look how thick these bandages are. They're thicker than my thumb. And then these ones are just normal size bandages, but they're in a nice plastic bag to keep them fresh. Sting relief. 
pads as well as alcohol swabs, lots of those. Antiseptic towelettes, which are always handy. A trauma pad. An eye pad. So this, these alone are like a couple dollars to get them actually two or three dollars at least per one. So that's nice. Not that we expect to have uh, and then there's just sterile ga gauzes, so small bath packages of one inch, two inch gauze. We're just trying to cut a bigger one. Some gloves and a glow stick. And so this is a nice, so you can take this little section here and section it halfway, however you want to do it. But it's a nice kit. So... Now, I can always add more things of what we think we need in there. There's still lots of room. But I looked online, I compared prices, and this had the most pieces that were usable. Like, a lot of them threw in a lot more safety pins or alcohol swabs or just bandage, regular bandages. Well, this one had, like, a CPR thing, which that alone's like, $5. And it had a mask. Um... If it had things that were actually usable that I currently don't have or don't know where they are. And it had a nice little um, portable emergency kit. So this is what we would take when we go on vacation and stuff like that. Um, or if we go hiking or that because you never know what you need. And here's Princess checking things out again. Right, Princess? Yeah. So here we go. And I think we're done. Have a great day. Bye, friends.